Now that we know as a literal matter of fact that Google is turning Android into a desktop operating system, that they're going to ship devices like laptops that run Android, I don't think it's too big of an exaggeration to say that we are on the precipice of what could be a pretty massive radical change in the personal computing world. However, anytime I talk about this, I do get several sort of pushbacks. People say the same things in the comments. Obviously, a lot of people are just excited and curious and they want to see more about this, but I do get the same handful of pushbacks on this subject. So in this video, we're going to look at a couple of news stories that have gone around over the last couple of days, weeks, or even months that I think will answer some of those concerns. So I put all this together in an article, a blog post over on shanecraig.tech, but I am pulling from Android Authority a couple of times. So when we get to those moments, we're going to jump over to their articles. and I'm going to show you what they said there. But quickly, just in case you've somehow been living under a rock and you have missed this, this is coming directly from Google's Rick Osterloh. He said, quote, In the past, we've always had very different systems between what we are building on PCs and what we are building on smartphones. We've embarked on a project to combine that. We are building together a common technical foundation for our products on PCs and desktop computing systems. There have been other quotes from other people within Google where they have basically, I'm paraphrasing, but they basically said, we are taking what we built with Chrome OS and we are rebuilding that on top of Android. So you're getting windowing and you're getting a taskbar with a, with a little you know, start menu, basically, that's an app drawer that pops up. We're rebuilding Chrome OS on top of Android so that, you know, you're no longer having Chrome OS with basically Android running inside a virtual machine and you're trying to kind of like staple features onto Chrome OS. Like Chrome OS was initially built as literally just like a web browser. And over the last like 10 years, they have been Frankenstein's monster style, like stapling body parts onto Chrome OS and bringing more and more of Android over to Chrome OS. And at a certain point, it's like, why not just use Android and just build a desktop layout on top of Android, if so much of Chrome OS is now dependent on Android features, it just doesn't really make sense anymore. So that's what they're doing. So the idea here is a common technical foundation for PCs and smartphones, which would allow users to use one operating system, Android, on their phone, their tablet, XR glasses, VR headsets, smart watches. It's all just Android. So that one app you're using, it's the same app everywhere you are possibly using it. And that sort of speaks to this pursuit of ecosystem. And who has done ecosystem as well? Probably better than everybody else. That's Apple. And they have this really, really cool feature called continuity. And it allows users to easily switch between their iPhone, iPad, and their Mac, creating a fluid and uninterrupted workflow. This interconnectedness is a really, really nice feature. So basically, you're on your phone and you're looking at a particular website. You go to your MacBook and there's a little pop-up down there that says, hey, do you want to look at that website over here? You click it and it fires it up right back where you were. There's just this, this continuity between devices. And according to Android Authority, Google is developing something that looks remarkably similar to exactly that. They're calling this system Android Handoff. And as you can see in this image right here, it's going to work with apps, notifications, as well as files and media. Jumping over to their post, Handoff is apparently going to be a feature that lets you seamlessly transfer an app's current state from one Android device to another. The device you're currently using will show a suggestion on its taskbar representing the running app from another device. When you click this suggestion, the system initiates the handoff, passing the remote app's state and relaunching it locally. So not just going to launch the app. Ideally, it's going to sync the state of the app so that you can truly just continue doing what you were doing. That is awesome. But as you can see in that image, it's not just about app state. It's also about notifications. Does this mean that 
people like me that have lots of Android devices, when I boot one up that hasn't been used in a few days and I get bombarded with notifications that I've already addressed on other devices, does that mean that isn't going to be happening? I really, really hope so. And then files and media share and access your files across devices. I would assume that's going to be utilizing things like Google Drive and Google Photos, things that you're probably already using to just make uh, sort of a, a, a syncing that continuity concept even more fluid between your devices. I think all of this sounds awesome. Now, when is it going to launch? We don't know. They're just seeing signs of it buried within beta versions of Android. But I think that it makes a ton of sense when you're thinking about an Android laptop being paired with an Android phone. Another thing that people always talk about is the fact that Android apps just aren't the same as desktop applications. Yes, you do have Microsoft Office applications and things like that, but they're not feature complete compared to the desktop versions. And yes, it you know could be that Google is going to be pressuring Microsoft and other OEMs, other developers, to make better versions of their apps. And they've been doing that, right? They've been doing things preparing for this change by one, uh, basically not allowing applications that are targeting, I think it's Android 16, they're no longer allowed to specify an orientation. So they can't say, oh, our app can only be used in portrait mode. You can't rotate it. And our app can't be resized either. Can't That stuff is not a thing anymore. Your app has to be able to rotate and it has to be able to resize. And you know, hopefully that encourages more developers to say, hey, when my app is stretched out on a tablet, it looks terrible. We should make a dual panel layout or a layout that looks better on larger devices. But we all know that it's very difficult to pressure developers into doing something that they don't want to do. So how are we going to address the desktop app situation on Android? Well, one option might be running Linux applications. Google is experimenting with this Linux terminal that allows you, as you can see right here, this is a Pixel device plugged into a lap dock and they are running GIMP on a Pixel phone. That is a very sort of Photoshop-esque photo editor, and that is a Linux application. And now with this latest news post, again from Android Authority, Linux apps are gonna run even better because they actually now have GPU acceleration. Up until now, everything was being done by the CPU. Well, now the GPU can actually pitch in and help with this. So this is not too far-fetched to think that on your Android laptop, you're going to be able to just install in a Debian environment different Linux full desktop applications and run those on your device. I guess technically this hasn't actually rolled out yet, but there is good evidence to establish that it is coming. So I shouldn't say until now it's being indicated that it is coming very, very soon. And again, that would really help bridge that gap between mobile apps and desktop apps. Another thing kind of in that same wheelhouse that people often talk about needing is the full desktop version of Chrome. But we know that something to kind of address that is already coming. I showed you guys this about three months ago where I went into this sort of snapshot folder website. Basically, Google is developing a version of Chrome that you can install right now. You have to sideload it and it is a snapshot. It is very much in beta, but it is a version. As you can see, Android desktop ARM64. So you can see me downloading the APK file, I install it and I fire it up and this is what you get. And it is a version of Chrome running on Android. This is actually running on the Pixel desktop mode. This is what it's gonna look like on your Android laptop. And I am installing extensions. I'm going, I'm, in, I'm installing Dark Raider. Extensions are there. This is the desktop Chrome browser. So for all of you who are saying without a desktop Chrome browser, this is all for not. It is in development. It is coming. You can install it currently right now in beta. So guys, we don't know when exactly this is coming. We don't know when you're going to be able to go to your local store and buy an Android laptop or maybe even an Android desktop. That would be quite cool as well, but we can see progress on multiple fronts. We know what the graphical user interface is going to look like. We know that there's a taskbar and there's windowing and then there's all these other things you would expect to see on a desktop. And obviously we know what Samsung has done with Dex. They have really completed this idea. So we can kind of bridge the gap between what Google has currently built and what we've seen in beta and what they probably have behind closed doors that they're showing to the people at Qualcomm and so forth and where they're also probably heading to. We can see the foundation being built and we can see the 
attacking the potential issues on several different fronts. And for me, this is more than enough to be very, very excited. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.